So many uh, Trump supporters with their shirts or their signs or their hats were being violently attacked. They set it on fire. Uh, you know, had, had that been a religious monument, monument had it had anything to do with someone's sexuality or anything like that, automatically would have been a hate crime. So I put it back up just so my friends and neighbors who were driving by could see, you know, how cowards act in the dark of the night. Those are previous guests. They live on Staten Island here in New York City. They were on risk and reward. They had their Trump sign burned down on their own personal property. Well, get this. My next guest found a different way to show his support for Donald Trump. He took a weekend chore and he turned it into a more permanent statement. Walter Maslowski joins me now. Walter, what inspired you to mow Trump into your lawn? That's a big sign. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, I guess when I started off, I had no idea how big it was going to be. I was just mowing the yard and... I don't know, some just hit me to uh, lower the, the mower blade and keep going. But uh, so first I went in the house and printed off the word Trump on a piece of 8 by 11 paper and laid some graph paper over it and plotted some points where a quarter inch uh, square was 10 by 10 feet. So then I went and put it back out in the yard, translated it into actual dimensions and put a little paint drop on all the corners and then went out with my mower, lowered the blade down the ground level and just started connecting the dots, and that's what ended up. Hey, so how long did it take you? Did anybody in your family scream out the back door, what are you doing? Actually, nobody was home for the weekend. My, uh, my wife was away uh, at a hockey tournament for my grandson with her, the daughter in Grand Rapids, which uh, is the other side of the state. And uh, I did it by myself on a Thursday and a Friday. What do they I think of it? Oh, they sent her the pictures. I sent them a picture, and they just couldn't believe it. And on the way back, my daughter stopped back and took some low-level video and posted it. And following day, my son came over with his drone and took some aerial shots, and he posted it on, Insta on um, I'm sorry, Twitter. And uh, it, it's, I don't know what happened after that. I started getting calls from uh, radio stations, uh, local TV stations. It's just <laughs> I mean, it just blew up. And yeah, I, did I, think not... it's got, I think it's gone viral. You know, but I'm wondering, <laughs> is anybody giving you a hard time about your, uh, your mode sign there? Because we've uh, seen examples of violence toward Trump supporters. Oh, yeah. Any I see. blowback? Uh, no, no, not personally. Uh, on Twitter, there's been uh, very, very few people considering how many are responding with positive comments. And yeah. there's nothing threatening. It's just, that's disgusting. And how can you do that? And... My answer is you're welcome to put yeah. a Clinton cut out in your yard. You know, so. uh, a final thought, you know, Hillary Clinton recently said, why aren't I 50 points ahead? Well, you know, some could say, well, you tr call Trump supporters deplorable and you say they're implicitly <laughs> biased. Five seconds. Go ahead on that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe I am because uh, I did get some people calling me disgusting okay. for doing that. But uh, you're having fun with it. I'm having a lot of fun okay. with it. Walter Moslaski, thank you so much for your time.